One goal can be the difference between winning and losing. And when you get down to it, that goal can be determined by mere inches. For instance, the ball's here, not a goal. You know, if any part of the ball is, is still touching the line, it's not. You've got to be able to see the green on the other side. And with the linemen so far away, it can be really hard to tell if that ball actually crosses the line, especially if it's in the air. To eliminate any guesswork for referees, for the first time at the World Cup, FIFA will be using goal line technology at each match. Here's how Goal Control's 4D system works. 14 cameras are mounted above the field, seven at each goal. They track the ball as it flies through the air in real time. If it crosses the goal line, the software program transmits a signal to the referee's watch within a second. It claims to be accurate down to five millimeters, and it's encrypted to prevent hacking. That's the biggest stage, and there's just so much on the line that um, you know, it'll just clear up those decisions and the flow of the game, but there's so much at stake, especially at the highest levels. Soccer enthusiasts hope the technology doesn't change the spirit of the game. I think the, the argument is, is um, just affecting the, the purity of the game and the flow of the game. There's so much at stake, especially at the highest levels. But accuracy comes at a price. Goal control system costs around $400,000 to install in each stadium. In San Francisco, I'm Kara Suboy, CNET.com for CBS News.